So you're moving to Arkansas, or perhaps you're being relocated to Arkansas, and the reason you found this video is because you want to know, Anthony, how much does it cost to live in Northwest Arkansas? What's the cost of living in Bentonville? Well, that's what we're gonna dig in today. I'm going to really nerd out for you, get deep into the analytics. We're going to cover Arkansas versus Bentonville, Arkansas versus the United States in regards to uh, salary, goods and services, taxes, what have you, but we're really going to dig in and find out what actually the cost of living really is. If Walmart hasn't put us on the map already, you should know that Bentonville is becoming the mountain biking capital of the world. So we're getting well known. And a few other ones I wanna point your attention to is Bentonville was ranked seventh best place to live according to Money Magazine, fifth fastest growing US city according to the Arkansas Education Department of Commission, I believe I said that right, and the fourth best affordable metro according to US News. What I'm going to show you is that living in Bentonville, Arkansas, living in Northwest Arkansas is not one of the cheapest places to live in the United States and I'll back it up with information showing you how. Is this information helpful? Hit that like and subscribe button. New videos come out every week and of course in the comments let me know what's something you'd like to know more about when it comes to Bentonville or Northwest Arkansas. All right, this first chart that you're looking at is a cost of living index based on the number 100. You'll notice real quickly that Arkansas is highlighted in green as one of the cheapest states to live in the continental United States. I apologize, those of you that are in Hawaii, it got cut off, it's closer to 160, similar to one in California is 151.7. You'll see that Arkansas, again, is the second cheapest state here. Now this takes into consideration housing, food, child care, transportation, and other items. One of the major pieces about moving to a new city is understanding how far will your dollar stretch. So if you're being relocated here and your employer is moving here, you need to figure out, okay, they're paying me $100,000 a year. That's the number that I used on this next chart. If you take a look at it, you're seeing that if we're looking at $100,000 in regards to San Francisco, Denver, Dallas, Minneapolis, Chicago, Nashville, and Charlotte, North Carolina, what I'm looking at here is from West Coast to East Coast and some major metropolitan areas is what would it cost to maintain your same type of lifestyle? So if you're earning $100,000 in San Francisco in order to maintain your normal lifestyle that you achieve, you only need to be making about $50,000, maybe $51,000 here in Bentonville. So again, the reason why I'm providing the, this chart is so maybe you live in Pleasanton, California, and you're looking, you know, Pleasanton compared to San Francisco, San Francisco versus Northwest Arkansas or Northwest Arkansas Bentonville to be able to compare to your specific city. So down in the link, um, there's a link to the cost of living calculator that I used in order to derive this information. Why did I choose these cities? Again, East Coast to West Coast, you probably live closer to one of these cities, but in the cost of living calculator, you can plug in your specific city and then plug in Bentonville, or maybe you're moving to Fayetteville or Centerton or Springdale or Bella Vista, what have you, to be able to do the side-by-side -side comparison. As a realtor, I help people move on a daily basis, and I know that the typical American budget, about 30% of what we spend goes to our housing, and 14% goes to transportation. So before I dig into housing, let's go out and check out some local gas prices. All right, this is the Casey's gas station on the corner of 72 Central and J Street. So diesel is 389, unleaded is 302. All right, here it come and go. Unleaded, $3.03, mid grade, 333, and premium at 368. Not to forget, diesel over there, you can see diesel is at 389. Okay, I gotta get back across town, so talk to you soon. Gas prices, as you know, fluctuate from time to time depending on what's going on, the time of year, the political climate, what's going on overseas to where we get our crude oil from. So hopefully me going on around town, it was fun for me, but help give you some idea of what gas is like. Okay, back to housing. 30% of your budget is spent on housing. Of course, if you don't have a mortgage and you're free and clear on your house, that's a different line item, but we're talking about the general American. And we're looking at, again, West Coast to East Coast in the cities that I talked about earlier, what the housing costs are and what they look like as far as an average home in that area. 
You'll see these first two lines here, they're showing the national average of homes across the country is a little over $450,000. Again, that's probably taken into consideration your, your farms, your single families, your townhomes and condos. This next line that's coming up is the average home in Bentonville, Arkansas, $370,992. Now we can start plugging those in comparison. Okay, of course, San Francisco is gonna be one of the highest on the list. A little over $1.5 million for an average home in San Francisco. Minneapolis, we used to live there, close to 400,000. And then Charlotte, North Carolina at 377. The most comparable in regards to housing to Bentonville is going to be Charlotte, North Carolina. Let me tell you a little bit about my family if you didn't know already. It's me and three girls, my wife and we have twin daughters. So of course we're all showering, we need to do laundry, we're all active. Of course it's not summer months but I do have my utility bill right here. This is my water bill for last month was $102.92. To give you an indication, that's very common as far as our house throughout the year is anywhere from 90 to at about $110, depending on if it's summer and we're using more of the outside sprinkler and whatnot. But about $100, $110 a month is what we're seeing on our bill here in Bentonville. There are two things that are for sure in life, death and taxes. We're not talking about death today. Today we're talking about sales tax, property tax, and income tax. So I'd like to direct your attention to this next chart, which is talking about what are sales taxes in your area. So if you look on this chart, you'll see that Arkansas at 9.46% is the third highest state as far as sales tax in the United States. What, are you kidding me? No, I'm not. So let's bring it down to Bentonville. Bentonville, uh, as far as Arkansas, has a 6.5% state tax a 1% Benton County tax, and a 2% Bentonville tax. So about 10% is what you can be budgeting as far as when you go out, consume, go to dinner, go to uh, buy something at the store here in Bentonville, is it close to that 10% mark? So people moving here from all over the United States have different tax rates and what have you. Arkansas is actually one of the states in the United States that has a graduated scale for your income taxes based off of your income level. So looking at this next chart, you'll see that Arkansas at 5.5% is one of, uh, one of the lower ones on the chart here. Arkansas is actually considered doing away with uh, individual income tax, which would be awesome and probably drive a lot more people to move here. But I wanted to point out at 5.5%, again, it's graduated. Before we dig into individual property tax, Let's go back out into the field and have some more fun. Check out and look what actual costs are of some of our most commonly used items. All right, so we're in Walmart. 12 eggs, 444, great value brand. Let's go up to Highlands, Eglin's Best, 547 for 18. Gallon of milk at Walmart, 656 for the Highland brand. And down here, 338 for the great value brand. They put the eggs and the milk conveniently close together for me here at Aldi. Dozen eggs, 338. Gallon of whole milk, 338. How about that? All right, let's head back. Property taxes, yes, we've gotta pay them again. There's two things that are certain in life and taxes is definitely one of them. This next thing that I wanna show you, this is actually taken from the Bentonville County Tax website. So this chart shows you a four bed, three bath, two car garage home it has about 2,100 square feet, it's three miles from downtown Bentonville. You'll see down here at the bottom, the property tax for that property, about a quarter of an acre, is $3,149. Now let's go to the next sheet, which is showing us a three bed, two bath, two car garage home on about a quarter of an acre. That's about a half a mile from the square or half a mile from downtown Bentonville and this is a 1,484 square foot home. Total tax is $5,612.55. You'll also notice on here there is a homestead credit. If this is your primary residence, you get a tax credit on that. Before we move on to the next section, wanted to let you know, so that's here in Bentonville as far as those taxes are concerned. So when people come to me and they say, Anthony, what are the taxes like there? It's like, I mean, what are we talking about? Property, income, are we talking Bentonville? Are we talking Gravit? Go out to Gravit, you can almost expect your taxes to be half of what that last one was. I looked and it was $1,677 for a three bed, two bath, 
close to downtown Gravit. For fun, a few other things I found out about Bentonville cost of living versus other places across the country. I found out that the most expensive haircut is in Chicago, followed by Dallas. Chicago is $31.97. Y'all need to quit cutting your hair so much. Here in Bentonville, it's $22.50. Something else fun I found out is Bentonville was number two on the list in regards to phone bill at $206. Charlotte, North Carolina came in last at $184.19. One of my favorite things to do is go to the movies and we have Skylight Cinema here in Bentonville. Their cost per ticket is $13 for an adult, $10 for a kids. So however that compares to your city. So what did we learn through all that? Even though Bentonville is in the second most cost-effective state to live in the United States, Bentonville and Northwest Arkansas cost of living is a bit higher. We live a little bit more like Nashville or Charlotte, North Carolina in regards to the total cost of living. Farther you get away from Highway 49, where we were by those gas stations earlier, the farther you get away from there, things start getting a little more cost effective. If you'd like access to those charts, I'd happily provide those to you. Let me know your name and your email address. If you're looking to relocate, if you're in town for a bike event, whatever, let me know. I'd love to meet you, show you around town, grab a cup of coffee, of course, in between looking at houses, and we'll look forward to connecting with you soon. Thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you later.